Welcome back to Beerger. This dessert recipe is sure to get you the best night's sleep you could possibly have. Thought I was gonna say something else. No. <laughs> this is all about sleep and deliciousness is what's happening here. So this Valentine's Day dessert is fig honey champagne creme brulee. Creme brulee, creme brulee. What you need. Let's get right into it because one of the things that irritates me about food videos sometimes is if the recipe has to sit for two hours in the fridge and they don't say that until you've watched a full 20 minute video and you're like, oh crap. Well, this should sit in your fridge for a couple hours after you're all done to let it chill and let it set up perfectly, if not 24 hours. Just know that ahead of time. You wanna set your oven to 325 degrees. We're gonna cook for about 45 minutes and it's gonna take us probably 30 to 40 minutes to prepare everything with this. We're gonna make a fig and honey compost and then we're gonna combine that compote into heavy cream, whole milk, egg yolks, and then we're gonna add champagne to that mix. Then we're gonna cook it all together and make it beautiful for you. And then later, we'll light it on fire with some sugar. Let's get going. You want about eight to 10 ounces of figs. It's usually about a half a package of Turkish figs. And then you want half a cup of sugar, half a cup of honey, and then you want six egg yolks, cup and a half of heavy crema, and then you want half a cup of whole milk. Those are the things we're gonna be needing today. And uh, oh, Oh yeah. You need a bottle of champagne, you dingus. So this is just pink Moscato bubbly. Uh, I just went with a cheap one. I went with pink because Valentine's Day and for some reason everything is pink on Valentine's Day. Uh, that's what you can get if you want to. Take all your figs and just roll them out there and see where they go. And then really what you want to do is just kind of move them like this. And then you want to cut the stems off. So you have delicious innards revealing themselves. And then just take them and quarter them. Medium heat, throw a quarter cup of water in there. Add your figs and add your honey. And then give that a stir. Basically creating like a job. Kick out the job, man. A job with my bass, man. Job with my bass, man. Once that gets bubbly bubbly like you see, turn your heat down to low and let that simmer for about 30 minutes. We only want the yolks, but you can save the whites to make a meringue or egg whites in the morning. You don't have to do this, but if you wanna go the extra step, you know, for that good night's sleep, let's make some homemade whipped cream to put on top after we torch. You're gonna want two cups of heavy cream, half a cup of pewdered sugar. Then you're gonna use your wire whisk or your mixer, hand mixer. And we're gonna go and beat that until it gets stiff. Okay, as you beat this on slow for a little while, slowly increase to a higher speed as it begins to stiffy. I may have gone too fast, but that's okay. It'll get stiffy. Do you guys see that stiffy? Now we're gonna do something crazy. We're gonna fold this into a triple berry preserves. Now you could do whatever you like, but this is what I'm gonna do. Fold this in there. Now that our compote is ready, let's turn the heat off. Add in butter, stir that up. Whoa. Just put butter into everything, okay? And you're going to immerse blend. Okay, now we're gonna take our heavy cream and whole milk, put it into a pot. We're gonna do a quarter cup of champagne right into our cream mixture. We're also gonna take our compote, put that in here. You want about two tablespoons. Six yolks, half cup sugar. When you're working on your cream, you don't want it to scorch, and you've got your fig compote in there, so you want to kind of lightly kind of whisk that in there. And once you get to a really slow boil, take it off the heat and let it chill for about 10 minutes. Once your cream has cooled, you're gonna slowly whisk it into your egg mixture. You don't want it to be too hot, otherwise your eggs will curdle. <laughs> then you're gonna take it and you're gonna strain it through a fine wire mesh. Okay, now take a paper towel and just lightly put it in there, blot it, and then you pull it off and all those bubbles are gone. Fill up a baking pan with a little bit of water. Place your creme brulee cups into the water. If you don't have these cups, I'll put a link to some in the description. And then we're gonna bake that for about 35 to 45 minutes until it's ready. And put a little bit of sugar. I like to put a little, little layer on first before I do too much. And you take your torch, preferably a kitchen torch, and just go in circles. Now I like to take another little layer of sugar. Now we put another layer of char. 